What's up, guys? We came back from Clover. You know what it is. Let them know what you got. You got I the got C2. The, you got the butter burger. Let's see the seat. One sec. There we go. There we go. Butter burger Just with some fries. I got a recent mixer. He got a Snickers. Mm -hmm. And we got the fries right And I got here. a spicy chicken sandwich. Because them boys hit. And yes, I like to dip it in half. And it shakes. I don't know why, but he does. Try to blow out. Eh, it is what it is. Everybody has their own thing. But yeah, this is going to be a review for Culver's. So. Her and Burger. Perfect. Who's good? Does it hit? Mm -hmm. Was it worth it? Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Culver's always been good. I didn't go to that much and I didn't know where I've yet. never been to Culver, so. Mm. Like, I've always heard about it, but I never actually went there and ate food from there, so. Mm -hmm. I don't like fries, but these fries hit different. Burger pretty good. Let them know more in depth about that burger, though. The beef is real juicy. The lettuce... Lettuce and tomatoes is really good. You can taste the mustard in the ketchup. It's just a regular double cheeseburger. Should have probably added bacon, to make it more either more great. Yeah, it's okay. The check with the fries is okay. It's just something I wouldn't do, but yeah, it's okay. How you like your uh, shake? You make her. Does it taste like Snickers? I mean, we used to get yeah, a culture though. I mean, Culver's has always been good at. That's what they're known for. They're known for their ice cream. And yes, we did get a pound of ice, pint of ice cream. I think we got like five. Yeah, they four for twelve hours. That's some sponsoring Culver's because they good. They hit different. We'll get to some. Their fries are decent, but their burgers are really good. And their shakes are really good, so it's worth it, you know. Their fries got enough salt on them. They like them. Yeah. Everyday fries, you know, nice fries. Like, my thing about it is this, right? Had you gone to any other restaurant, this would have been 60 hours at least. At most. I'm gonna just be real, so. Some of them. Hmm? You agree? Yeah. You know what? We went to one of my ice cream places for definitely would have been. Yeah. They don't even give you pints of ice cream at most places. They're not giving you that. Yeah. They gonna look at you like you better go to a convenience store. Sure, a shake is like four or five hours. You go to Dairy Queen, one Man. of these is like four or five hours for every one of them. Man. And that's a Say it with me. That's a no go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like Dairy Queen, but yo, I c nah. <laughs> you feel me? Mm -hmm. Not the move. So they brought a set of Chuck back. Mm -hmm. Time out. This is how you know it's a good deal. We got about six pints of ice cream. Mm hmm. Three mixers and two meals for forty-four dollars. 
Facts. You ain't getting that in most places, bro. Yeah. Like, um, Buddy's Pizza, man, I was mad. Let me know what happened. Let me know. Man, we won the pizza for like two pieces of bread stick. It was like $44. And mind you, it wasn't any better than Jets. Mm. Any be it wasn't any better than Hungry Howie's. Like, it tasted like dead pizza, bro. Yeah. And even if you would have went to Jets, you probably could have got more food. Mm -hmm. Not even probably. You could have, because I think at one point, Marcia went to, our uncle went to um, Jets and got us some pizza at one point. It was like 40 hours and it was like three pizzas and side stuff too. Mm -hmm. like, like, come on, bro. The fast food game I heard lacking low key. Mm -hmm. Like, where's the top five? Fast, sorry, top five restaurant places. Here? Mm hmm. Good? I think, um, I think the best fast food places if you in our area is, um, for burgers and fries, it's probably um, Fat Boys and Culver's. Mm -hmm. I agree 100%. They had a mac and cheese burger. That was, that was fire. Mm -hmm. With the bacon, though? With the yeah. bacon, though? Yeah, that was fire. Man. Um, that is different. The, um, I think Fry Guys is a bit overrated. It's a bit too expensive. Yeah. Like, they okay. Like, Steak and Shake is pretty good. I don't care what nobody said. For the money, like, you can walk out of Steak and Shake with, like... 20 burger for 40 bucks. Yeah, like, you can Probably walk... Probably 30. Yeah, you can walk out with a ton of food at Steak and Shake, and it's good. Um, well, other than that... And people, everything, it'll get you full. I like, I like trying these new Thai places that we've been to. San um, Jose Taqueria is pretty decent. Yeah. Um, pizza place. I would definitely suggest the burritos over the tacos, though, to be honest. I think it's called Carlos Pizzas over here. It's pretty good. Time to show these boys my chicken sandwich. But yeah, I like Hungry Howie's pizza, too. They're pretty good for what we This my chicken sandwich, if y'all. Look at this. Look at look at the light hitting that boy. You see the pickle, the tomato, the lettuce. Mm -hmm. This the works. Man, this boy finna hit. Mm -hmm. This is different. Mm -hmm. On me. <clears throat> Man, this is sensational. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, Spectacular. Hungry Howard's is pretty good for oh, yeah. pizza. Um, what else do we like? Pizza, Carlos Pizza, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But other yeah. than that, what's your favorite restaurant from OA? Well, if we're talking about in general, mm Don't come with me in the comments on some, oh, because you work there. Nah, I'm going to just be real with you. You get a lot of food for how much it costs. Mm -hmm. Taco Bell. You get, like, a good portion of nachos for $10.60. Mm -hmm. Right now. They got a dragon fruit freeze. Mm -hmm. We're going to review on that at some point, just to let y'all know how it is with some food, maybe. We'll see how, we'll see how that goes. But that, man... Ooh. Um, definitely Taco Bell in terms of price and food. Culver's, because I'm going to be real with you. It's chicken sandwich. Look at that. It's boy beaming, boy. It's boy beaming. You feel me? Uh, their food is really good, honestly. Like, I don't even like fries, but those fries are pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, they're like your average fries, but they're seasoned just right. 
-hmm. Like, they never mess with their fries. Like, a lot of places, especially with the chicken sandwiches, they either don't have enough seasoning or it all tastes the same. Mm -hmm. This, for my chicken sandwich at least, I don't know how it was for your burger, but it's probably really good. Mm -hmm. Like, for my chicken sandwich, like, I prefer chicken over beef, to be honest, For depending on what it is. For the most part, for, if I'm eating, like, a sandwich, I'm going to want a chicken sandwich over a burger. That's just me. But, like, there's a whenever you have food, like sandwiches and stuff, you want a good season to condiment ratio. You don't want one to overpower the other, like, ever. That's not a good sandwich. Like, it's cool if they got sauce, but if it doesn't work well with the, you know, the protein you're getting in the sandwich... It's not that good in my opinion. But for me, this chicken sandwich has the right blend of tomato, lettuce, pickles, and the chicken sandwich spice itself. It's good. Like, it's actually good. And then, uh, I would definitely say Hungry Howard's or Domino's. Because, mm -hmm. bro. Oh, no, no. I would say the Hungry Howard's, Domino's, or Pizza Hut. Just because that party box, bro. That party mm -hmm. box is worth it, bro. I'm going to be real with you. Mm -hmm. Man. <laughs> that boy was... Tell them what happened last time. Mm. <laughs> what happened last time we had the party box for a mug bang? Oh, yeah, we were too full. We were full, boy. I tell you, you eat two of those, boy. You, you not, you, you ain't gonna be able to use the bathroom for about a month. I'm <laughs> gonna just be real with you. But uh, yeah. Overall, like, and definitely Thai places. Like, man, I love Chinese food, but like Thai, I was like. Yo, this is different right here. This is a different level of authenticity. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, man. <laughs> my mom, uh, tell him what happened. My mom made, my mom loves Thai so much. What'd she do? Let him know. Let him know. She made her own phone. <laughs> I was like, yo, this hit different. And it was just as good, too. We gonna do a, ramen noodles. We gonna do another review on a different Thai place that's yeah. more closer. Mm-hmm. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, but it is what it is. Thai food is kind of expensive, though, but to me, it's kind of worth it. Like, me and my mom was just talking about this. They they add them and Chinese food. The reason why they're so good because they add so many different vegetables. And it brings out so many different flavors, and they add, add so many different seasonings. That's why their food tastes so good. That's fast. Um, yeah, so The Rock just posted about, um, Black Adam. What you both feel about? Um, I forgot what his name is, but the dude who was in, uh, I think comedy skits or whatever, mm. I think he is a comedian slash actor, but there's going to be this guy playing Hawkman in the Black Adam movie. His name is... Aldis Hodge, I believe so. Mm. Yep, this guy right here, I'm going to show y'all too. This guy right here. Oh, you remember him? Mm. I'm trying to remember what movies he's from. It's this guy right here. You guys probably seen him. A few movies, TV shows, something like that. Yeah, dude's a good actor too, actually. Mm. Um, I think he's going to kill it. Basically, they're going to have the Justice Society of America, which is before the Justice League. Let me see that again. Mm hmm. That might be. Mm hmm. That might be the dude who played Brian, um, Brian Banks. That was this dude, I believe so. Let me see it. I think that was the dude who played Brian Banks, yo. It probably was. If y'all haven't seen Brian Banks, make sure y'all go watch that, man. That's a great film. It bro. is. Especially if you black. No offense. Especially if you a black person, a person of color, you need to go watch that, bro. Man. Support that, bro. Yeah, he was in the Brian Makes movie. Mm -hmm. Let me name it. He was in Straight Out of Compton. I mm -hmm. think he was, uh, what was his name? Because there was a lot of rappers in that movie. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. I think he was one of the OG producers from the group when they started mm -hmm. out. No, wait. He was when uh, Ice Cube left uh, NWA. Mm -hmm. uh, he was in the Die Hard series. Mm -hmm. He was in Star Trek. He was in Happy Feet. Medal of Honor. City of Hill. Mm. Sorry, City on the Hill. Sorry to miscorrect that. But yeah, he was in a lot of movies. Listen. Probably TV shows and stuff. Dude's really cool. Listen, 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 people. Now I'm saying, 
I'm ready for the Black Adam movie. I'm ready for the Morbius vampire movie. I'm really ready for them to bring Static Shock back, though. Like, I'm ready for Blade. Remember, Shaw Lee gonna kill it. I'm ready for Static Shock. I got a question for you. I'm ready for the new Spawn. I'm honestly really excited that the Snyder Cut is even coming out. Yeah. You remember people are dogging the Justice League movie, right? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry, Joss Whedon did not do it justice. Like, it was an okay film, but Joss Whedon did not do it justice, bro. I am glad that the director who had the creative vision, who was not able to actually properly finish his film and did what he wanted to do, actually being able to finish it, is a miracle. And I'm not trying to make it seem so grandiose, but it's really hard to do when you have these large corporations not allowing certain things in films. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> you guys, this is our mug band. Make sure you pee. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell button. It's your boy, Mike. Hey, Eli. I'm out. We out. Peace. Peace.